Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Mission on the Mountain. I'm Kevin McCall. I'm Haley Ronnie. And today we want to talk to you about a faith story. So not so long ago, I was with a priest friend of mine, and we had joined his parents for dinner. And this was my first time meeting his parents, and I was so excited and just wanting to know. It's like, oh, wow, you have a son who's a priest. I asked the parents, can you please tell me your faith story? And the mother began sharing her story, and it was wonderful and exciting. And then when I looked at dad, dad looked kind of sad, and he said, well, you know, I don't feel like I've ever really had a faith story. And mom, being a very compassionate, wonderful wife, she said, well, tell me what you do for a living. He said, well, I have my PhD in physics, and I specialize in robotics. And I'm like, oh, well, of, of course, um, interesting. But you go to Mass every week, right? Oh, yes, yes. And, I, and you love God and you love the people around you? I do. I said, well, sir, you have a faith story. That's right. And he was so just blown away. And I said, the Lord just speaks to you in a different way. Yeah. You know, this isn't about goosebumps. It's like he gave you this brilliant intellect. And this is where you're seeing the Lord, like on a molecular level, like the beauty of his creation. And you can speak to people in terms that I can never speak to them. Like your story is powerful. We need Jesus physicists. We need Jesus yeah, teachers. We need so Jesus good. professors. It's like, yeah. this is all real. Everyone has a faith story. And so this man at the end of our so meal, he said, he's like, can we just pray a Thanksgiving prayer? Like, sure. By the time he said that, he's grabbing our hands and so he prayed beautiful. the most beautiful, spontaneous prayer. And, you know, we just thank you. God bless you. They left. And, and his son told me, he said, Kevin, I've never heard my dad pray spontaneously before. Oh, wow. And I must say, I probably shed a tear or two. But it was such <laughs> yeah. a sweet time to, to realize everyone has a faith story and to see what just that little bit of encouragement can do to help you breathe it in and live the faith in the way that God's called you to. Amen. Amen. Yeah. You know, I think there's just so much uh, suffering and pain out there that we forget that everyone has a story, you know, and, and however we're living our life, like God is in the details and whatever circumstance we have, if, if we can keep our eyes fixed on him, but recognize like we have this beautiful gift of faith and God uses us in, in every dimension of life in whatever our profession is or Wherever it is, we don't have to be a missionary in a third world country. It's it's living the day to day mission of of being a voice of encouragement for people, right? And to show like, oh, that's so beautiful how how the Lord like uses you as a physicist, as as an engineer. You know, it's a, I'm a physical therapist, and actually just in in how the Lord has used me uh, to bring uh, encouragement into a clinical setting. Um, you know, I've I've learned to see even in people's pain and suffering in a physical way, right? If we can be a voice of encouragement for them, it lifts their spirits and they realize, oh, God's using this to bring about a greater glory, you know? And they see how God is in the details, even connecting us with different people in a clinical in a clinical setting. And it's really exciting too to think about, sometimes we feel like, oh, to, to help someone step into their gift or call, we need to pray or we need to do this long yeah. teaching or need to make it complicated. Sometimes it really is just, tell me your story. Yeah, If that's we it. learn how to listen to someone's story, yeah. then we can point out how beautiful that is. That's because right. so oftentimes we don't see the best qualities of ourselves. You know, it's easy to see the negative and that I don't have a story or my story's stupid or my story isn't as good as, Oh, Haley, my story isn't as powerful as your story, yeah. so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. But it doesn't work that way in the kingdom. That's right. Every story has value. That's right, because every person is of significance in the kingdom. Every person has value. And to hear their story, when people know that they're seen and heard, gosh, what that awakens in them, right? They see life and life fully, life vibrantly. And it and it sparks something in them where it's like, oh, if if each of us plays our part in the kingdom of God as a, as our unique story of the, the uniqueness that God created us to be, then we're operating more fully as a kingdom. And it's so much more fun living that way. We get to live in this joy that God actually desires for his people just by hearing someone's story. And I think sometimes too, people feel like my story is too ordinary. Yeah. 
that we're looking for the dramatic story. We're looking for the miraculous story. Or so I was true. in jail and the Blessed Mother appeared to me and called me to great. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. But the everyday normal story of I woke up and I did not choke my children. <laughs> <You know? laughs> right. It's like winning. I, I love Christ in this person that I really just want to run over right now. It's like yeah. my hardest place to be Jesus is on the road. I mean, I'm just going to be honest, but these are such good That's stories. Right. Yeah. This is like real lived faith. And this yeah. is what we want. And I think a beautiful story is I loved Jesus as a child. Amen. I've always been part of the church. It's like, I didn't stray away. I didn't have wild oats to sow. I, I loved my oats and barley and always presented them to God. Amen. You know, this is a powerful story. So don't feel like because your story isn't dramatic, it wasn't the booming voice or something. It's like, that is such an encouragement that you can live a daily faith Amen. that pleases God, that touches just the, the world around you. That's a good story. Amen. And, <laughs> and I want to share, I think that reminded me of a, of a beautiful example. My oldest brother has Down syndrome, and he's mm. worked in a Catholic uh, children's school at cafeteria for years, and he's he's currently been working in high school. But we'll say, oh, Sean, how was your day? And he would talk about how I washed wonderful trays, wonderful trays. And he found the beauty of his purpose of just washing trays in a Catholic school cafeteria. But the beauty and joy of that childlike faith of my brother with Down syndrome has always left an impression on me. It's the ordinary things that we do with great love. That is a faith story. That was Mother yes. Teresa calls it. And that's what if if we live in that in that fullness and that joy. Yeah, it's so beautiful how we can actually leave an impact on the world around us instead of letting the world impact us with all the negativity and despair and hopelessness out there. We have a God who brings hope in this life. And that's what we live for. That's what we stand for. And that's what we want to bring others with your faith story. And that's the joy, yes, that we want to say that you are joining yeah. your story yeah. to the salvation story. Amen. Your story is part of the story of the history of Christ. Right. We're all part of the acts of the apostles, the that's actions, right. the lived story that's right. of the revelation of Jesus. It's our script, right? It's our script in the greatest salvation story. Amen. So yeah. can we pray for our friends? Yeah, let's Haley, why don't you lead us? Oh gosh. Father, we just praise you, Lord. We give you glory and honor and we thank you for the stories, the magnificent ones, the miraculous stories and the ordinary day-to-day, day-to-day -day life stories. God, where you are in the details and where you bring your kingdom family as one into a unified heart by bringing joy to any hopeless situation, by, by bringing uh, life into places where it seems dead, where you, you speak love in places where there's anger and hurt and hatred. Father, we give you praise and glory in all of our stories, that we get to play our part yes. in the greatest salvation story, the greatest story ever told. God, we love first, we, we love because you first loved us, and we thank you that we get to enter into that. Amen. 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 God bless you.